do have a few technicians who became optometry students and a few optometry students that I see in my clinic and they were just kind of wondering, sometimes those are who are starting, uh, which direct um, or diagnostic kit is best for them. Um, as you can see here, when I was a student, I picked the Keeler one. Um, there's a lot of pros and cons between each of them, between Walsh Allen, Keeler, and Hanna, but everyone has their own preferences, and at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It's pretty much all the same. So, let's dive in. So when you get your set in, you get it in like a box like this, <coughs> and uh, sometimes when you, depending on what kind of combo you, you buy, sometimes you could get different upgrades, you could get different kind of sets, um, sometimes you can get um, different like stethoscopes or the uh, blood pressure cuffs. I did end up getting the blood pressure cuffs and the stethoscope with the keeler because I wasn't sure at the time and I just was like, oh, whatever school's giving me is probably best. But now in hindsight, I realized I could have got like a brand name stethoscope like Litman off Amazon for way cheaper. So um, it's personal and it's really up to you, but this is how it is. So when you get your box, it's gonna look like this. Um, I already took out the case that usually goes in it, but it does come with a few extras. So, um, I left this in here when they were handing it out, so, anyways, you can get an extra, I'm not even sure what this is, to be honest, but it comes with that. You get two extra grips for your, um, diagnostic set. You get a CD, which I've never really used. This is an extra bottom for the, um, the, the handles, just because, um, you can screw in the batteries. And then these are, I believe, charging, like, um, we call it those charging adapters. Uh, I'm not really quite sure what they're for. Probably should read the instruction manual, but that's what's in the box when you get it. And here's the kit. So the difference between the Keeler, the Heine, and the uh, Welch Allen is that the Keeler does come in this kind of fabric box. I believe the Heine comes in like a like a little bit of a thinner profile, a little bit wider. And then the Welch Allen is similar to the Heine, but I think the Heine actually has a similar texture to this, I take that back. But anyways, what you do is you just zip around. And it looks like this. So um, it comes with two handles, a um, direct head, the transluminator light, and the... Um, the retinoscope. I also put the um, little glasses or the uh, MEM card holder here, even though it does come with it. So actually, my it also comes with MEM cards, which I don't have in here. They're probably in my other kit, but just for reference. You also, wait, when I was in school, we also had the choice of getting the di um, the traditional diagnostic head, which is this one, or you can get the professional, which is here. I do believe at some point the professional is a lot longer. It kind of looks like a Darth Vader head. Um, I believe a lot of people ended up getting it initially because um, it was like the newer one, it's supposed to be easier, it was supposed to be more streamlined of a click, but then you, I realized that with the professional, they didn't actually have like specialty heads, I mean lights, so if you wanted to do like binocular vision things, such as looking at like eccentric fixation and all that stuff, you weren't able to do it with the professional head. So the pre professional head is purely just for diagnostic purposes for looking at the retina, the optic nerve, whereas the um, this one, you also have like your, kind of your other um, filters and things. So um, the reason why I chose the Keeler was, if you think about it, it's like Heine was at the top in terms of price point, Keeler was in the middle, and Watch Allen is at the bottom. Welch Allen tends to be um, used everywhere. It's pretty universal because I guess it's one of the older brands, if I am mistaken, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, it's used on boards. Um, honestly, any set you get, you'll be happy with because they all essentially function the same. But this is how the uh, Keeler head looks like. And then if you put this on like this, you can just screw it on. And that's that. So you can see that it's on. So you can tell here, this is the minus. And then once you pull it over, it turns black and that's plus. If you need to go into extremes, which I've actually never used before, um, you can put the adjustment there. And you can see right now there's a sliver because the cover is partially on, but if I open the cover, you can see that. And then on the back, there's these little rotator bits, and you can see that there's a circle, different sizes circles. And this is what I was mainly talking about. I don't know if you can see it here. Mm. 
some bits more paints there you go so these are the things that aren't available with a professional which is the um, little uh, target points if you want to do like binocular vision things and then also you have this little knob right here for I believe different filters so there's green and there should be white I think the difference with a professional had a blue one as well but anyways that's the direct head and then Honestly, the transluminator is the same for literally everywhere. So, really quickly, let me do this. Oops. There you go. So, transluminator head, pretty easy peasy. And then we'll put the rat head on. And here's the rat head. So I do believe Keeler does have some customizable options, which include the grips. So you could get like different colored grips. You could get pink or green or blue, I believe. I got black because I felt like that was more professional looking. But here's the red head. Pretty simple. Sleep up, sleep down. If you need to rotate it. It's pretty easy. Like it's just that. I never really used this really, but I know you could change the aperture with that. And then for the MEM cards, um, I believe Lahaina uh, has a magnet. So all the cards are magnetized and you just stick it on the ret. And then I believe Welch Allen is a clip. So you just slide it on. like It's kind of like a paper clip system where you slide the MEM card. However, here, you stick it on there. Actually, actually the other way around because that's the eyepiece that you look out of. Oops. There you go. So kind of like that, and then there's little Velcro bits on the MEM cards and you can stick it over there, and that's if you're doing like accommodative testing. So, and then if you wear glasses, I do believe you can switch out this rubber bit here and then put this here so you can kind of have a little bit of a working distance between your glasses. But that's my Keeler set. Uh, so pros and cons. So the reason why I chose the Keeler to begin with was like, it's mid-range. Um, what I... I, in the beginning, I wasn't sure how much this would have been a play, but I kind of made it my sole decision based off of that because when you're buying this before you do school, you really don't know what you're looking for. So um, basically, I chose it because the weight was like in the middle. Like the Heine is a little bit heftier, and then the Welch Allen, I don't know, I would, just was not a fan of it. It's just personal choice, but um, I mainly chose it because of the weight, and I was told that the BIO for the Keelers. Um, had really good optics however I ended up actually going with a Heine BIO so it ended up not working out because the discount was there but I actually ended up buying the Keeler um, BIO and my friend who had the Heine diagnostic set ended up wanting the Keeler but she had a Heine BIO so we just ended up swapping the two and it worked out perfectly but um, yeah so let's go with some pros this is more lightweight it's more streamlined it does look really professional um, and this seems pretty easy to use, like, all that. However, things that I would say are disadvantages of getting Keeler is that there's no locking mechanisms for turning this on, so you could just really slide it easily on and off. And sometimes when you're putting it in, or you, like, rotate it while you're putting it in, like so, sometimes you don't know if you actually hit this or not, and then sometimes you leave it on, and if you're going to school and sometimes you pull out your ret and then you're trying to do retinoscopy on someone and there's no juice, you're like oh man like I need to charge this now but I'm like desperate and you're just running around asking your classmates to switch so that's the downside another downside that um, I would say is shared between Keeler and Welch Allen is that the um, what do you call it the Heine they actually have indicators on the bottom it is not part of their like standard bit but there is a bottom that you can actually um, get and it has a battery indicator so it's more handy when you're a student I don't think it really matters as much once you graduate because these are just going to be sitting in your um, chair where there's charging or your charging station so that's about it oops but um, the other thing I don't like about the Keeler is that there's no kind of uh, adjustment so what I watch Allen did is they came out with something called the pan optic which is kind of like a little head that you can add on and it's in lieu of a direct but however it's kind of like a big suction cup thing that you could put it right on the patient's eye and you don't actually have to click in and keep going in really close and it has a really good thing so it's really good for mission trips or if you're working with peds um the thing about Heine is that they have an attachment so you can actually 
um, use the panoptics with the um, Hina as well, but there's nothing for the Keeler, so the Keeler you absolutely can't, and there's nothing on the market for Keelers to be similar um, when I was purchasing mine. So, um, in hindsight, I'm I don't uh, I wouldn't say I don't regret buying Keelers, or they're, they're, it's just fine. However, I think in hindsight now I would have preferred to get a uh, Hina. But it doesn't really matter because I actually haven't really touched my set in over a year since I graduated because my office provides one. So, um, but that's my set on this. The other thing I wished I got was actually the Heine was because it's really purely just not professional. It's just aesthetic looking. But the um, charging set for the here is just like a black blob and you stick it in. Um, I'll find it in a moment. However, the Heine one is super pretty. It has like a little lights on it. It glows and it pulses when you, um, <laughs> it pulses when you charge your handles. It just looks really pretty. Um, I do believe my roommate who, um, bought the Heine, actually I wanted to film this video back when I was in school because I lived with, um, these other girls and one of them had a Welch Allen and the other one had a Heine. So we had all three brands, but now that I graduated and now that this is what's going on, this is what we got, but uh, what happened is that I didn't realize, but at the time when you could get Heine, the reason why I didn't pick it up was because it was so heavy, but what Jen got was that they had a slim handle, which is actually lighter than the Keeler, and then she got a standard handle, which is heavier than the Keeler, but she ended up using the light handle a lot more, so it was actually pretty handy, so I'm not quite sure um, in terms of how that is, but um, that's what I feel about the Keeler, so... Honestly, it really doesn't matter what you get. I know when you're starting optometry school, you're always like, these are big investments. Like, I believe like buying a set alone is like over a K, so like a thousand dollars. So it is a big investment. So, but anyways, hopefully that helps. Um, if you're more than, you have more questions, you're more than welcome to message me. I'm more than happy to answer any questions or concerns. Um, but yeah, thanks for listening.